So, funny story. It's episode one, right? First take, first try. These things don't go perfect. But I had a formula for this. I was going to say, hey, Joe, Dex and Drafts. By the way, Joe, Dex and Drafts. Um, I was going to introduce what I was going to do. I was going to introduce the beer. And I was going to crack the beer, take a swig, and then off we go. Off we go to the races. And that's what I did. First take. That's what I did. So today, it's Flesh and Blood. Flesh and Blood Arcane Rising Unlimited. I'm going to I'm gonna crack this bad boy. And the plan was to crack this bad boy. Pretzel Assassin from Denver Beer Company. I'm from Colorado, by the way. So you're going to see a lot of Colorado beers. Um, but here's the thing. Uh, so I cracked this and took a swig, like so. Stopped it. Rewatched it. No audio input. Totally forgot to plug in the stupid microphone. The reason that bad things happen to you is because you're a dumbass. <laughs> mm. Like I said, it's new. First try. So, so, not only do I have to finish this because it's here and I've already ruined the take, now I gotta do it again if I wanna do the whole formula thing, if I wanna keep this rolling. So, we're gonna try this again and we're just gonna double up on the beer today. There we go. Welcome to episode one. We're, we're slugging two. So, um, yeah, again, today, Flesh and Blood, and instead of Pretzel Assassin, which I'm going to be drinking throughout this anyway, uh, we're also going to be doing High Hops, Weed Ale, and Blueberries. Uh, Weed Ale with Blueberries. It's actually really good. Their Blueberry Wheat's pretty solid um, out of Windsor, Colorado. So, hmm, I guess I'm having two. That's where we're at. So, I can see right now the audio's in, so I didn't screw that up again. God forbid if this one messes up, but yeah, uh gonna crack this baby cracking this bad boy right now let's oh my god open little bastard let's do this ah all right let's do this this is wendy by the way wendy chang from the the dead but decent doomtown reloaded uh game was okay but anyway flesh and blood unlimited Blueberry wheat from High Hops. Uh, pretzel assassin, cause I'm an idiot. Let's just let's just get this this one going. All right, let's get this out of the way. Don't worry, I'll be drinking those. Anyway, as I said, uh, I did a box opening on my own channel, and this is the. Uh, I don't have I don't have like a cool, I have a cool knife. I got these cool little scissors that my wife got me. Um, they came in a pack of three. I think they were at Costco. I think they were eight bucks. Yeah, this is this one hell of a high budget channel. Like this box not is not in great condition already, which I guess sort of worries me. Like it just something happened up here. That's that's not that's I'm not digging that. But whatever. That's that's okay. I had another box. Um, as long as these are not open, right? Well, fine. Screw you, then. Fine. So much for that promo. Alright, Arcane Rising. Okay. Out of the way. Here we go. And I'm going to go ahead and crack these, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the game as well. Um, just what I've seen uh, in the amount of time that I've uh, I've spent with it. So, um, basically, so Flesh and Blood. This is from Legend Story Studios, I believe, out in Australia. Um, they've they've pretty much sold out of everything they've done the last couple of years. So they've they've got a heck of a lot of street cred. Um, secondary market has absolutely exploded with this thing. It's a, it was actually very discouraging to see prices. So the the first edition box of this is going for, I, I, I shit you not, about $2,000 a box. Um, and then there's cards that are going for like fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars $16,000. It's, it, they're very rare to get, of course, but it's, it's pretty insane. But thankfully, there's an unlimited version. The game actually looks like a hell of a lot of fun. I haven't had a chance to play yet, um, but it looks it looks like a blast. And the cards are just, the, the, they're absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so I'm a big fan of those. So I think it's, uh, I think it's like four or five commons at the beginning, two rares, and then a foil, uh, if I recall. So we'll start with the back alley break line. Um, I'm going to kind of blast through, for those of you who haven't seen it before, um, just beautiful artwork, just beautiful artwork. Um, and then we'll get into our fifth slot is usually a piece of equipment. Uh, first rare, Oath of the Arknight, um, Aether Spindle, and a Robe of Rapture, Rainbow Foil, super cool. 
really neat ones. I like, I love the foiling in this game. So I'll put that over there. I will get rares there. The rest of these are commons, by the way. Um, so common, searing shot, locked and loaded, common, common. Look at that headshot, zero to 60. Uh, and then the very last card is actually a token. So they give you tokens in the game. Um, these are the actual heroes that you play. Uh, so you can, you get to pick, it's kind of like an identity for those of you who played Netrunner. Um, and then they do things. Uh, and then, um, but I love that they're tokens. So I don't have to go digging through, through packs to try to find stuff to actually be able to build a deck around. Um, I'm a big fan of that. That's, that's a, that's a smart decision. Um, but yeah, anyway, so the secondary market absolutely exploded with this bad boy. Um, it was super discouraging. The only reason I'm not terribly discouraged is I got really lucky with a couple packs and now I kind of get to play into that market. Um, it's how it goes sometimes, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited to actually get into the game once uh, all this COVID nonsense goes away. Uh, take cover for our first rare. Absorb an ether. Oh, and I guess we have uh, first rare. First rare foil. Aether spindle. Boom. Rares. Put the commons over there. Actually, sorry. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. One of these is a token. There you are. Another bracer eye. And then a weapon. Crucible for Aether Weave. Uh, you also get starting weapons. So basically the idea is that you, it's just, it's a dude basher. Um, but every round is, is kind of like one attack and then you can chain to that attack and the opposing player is defending against that attack using cards in their hand, which they can do, but in doing so they kind of lose opportunities to attack on their next turn. Uh, we'll get the token just out of the way so I don't forget it. Um, so it's a, it's a really interesting kind of mechanic where it just kind of feels like instead of getting more powerful, you're actually just getting more exhausted by the end of this battle. Uh, I kind of dig that as a little flavor. Uh, take aim, first rare. Uh, Irena's prayer. I got a foil of this and it was not as uh, appealing as I thought it was. Bullseye bracers. Another common, uh, another common foil. All the equipment foils though, which um, I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, in the first editions, you get these super cool cold foils. By the way, I'll show you this bad boy from Crucible of War. Like, it's a completely different foil type. Um, you might be able to see it. Um, maybe. Yeah, you can kind of see on the bottom there. So it's not that rainbow foil like what you get from these guys. Um, where you get, you know, kind of, you can clearly, it's it's multicolored. It was just one kind of flat color, so they called them cold foils. Um, all right. Moving on. Let's go a little faster here. Um, actually, also while I'm at it, there we go. Can't forget that this is also drinking. Um, that is, that is part of this. It's kind of come to fight, get the, get through these bracers of belief, uh, enchanting melody, sir, the aether winds rare and whisper the Oracle, another common foil, but um, but um. Show these things off. All right. That did not work. I'm a fan of the triangle open. Just kind of how I roll. This was just a mess. That's got bad boy shredded. Dash. Uh, as I make, as I build my first deck. Cool. I got the uh, the other on the back. These. This is really what I'm thinking about building. Mechanologists look like an absolute blast. Um, basically, they just boost themselves up with like steam power and, and their own deck. Uh, their deck becomes a resource, and you just keep charging up until you just explode. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, in like some massive attack or something. Tasmana cleanse. Pour the mold. Absorb an ether. Zipper hit. Common foil. Boom. Badoom. Bunch more commons. So I need to, for those of you in, in Colorado, I know a couple places in Longmont that are opening or that are, uh, that have this, um, or that are looking at getting this. Kano the Wizard. Um, so hopefully they'll be able to do some events and whatnot. Common, 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 common. Uh, another Oath of the Arknights. I actually kind of like these because I think it's actually a really good rare for this uh, for this character. Plunder Run. Spellblade Strike. So from a collector standpoint, what you're really looking for, um, there's a couple of versions of rarity. Uh, the, the Arcane Rising still has like super rares. So you've got commons, rares, super rares, legendaries, which are like one every 10 boxes, and then the fabled rare, 
which is like one every 45 or something like that. And that's the, that's where the money's at. When I said there's like a $16,000 card, that's the one I'm talking about uh, from first edition. So, uh, hey, if I get a fabled here though or something like that, basically I'm just gonna sell it for like six, 700 bucks um, and then make all the money back I've spent on this game so far. Uh, little room, silver the tip. Uh, rusted relic, super rare. It's a little S there on the bottom, you can see. Uh, and come to fight common. Ba -dum. Ba -dum. Okay. It's a little harder to do these fast and then also want to drink at the same time. So I'm going to take a quick swig. Pretzel Assassin has clearly been out longer since it's so much warmer. Zalia, the ranger. I'm also looking forward to her. She's kind of good. She's like an arrow. So her, um, one of the game mechanics is like an arsenal. You can just hide a card there. Um, it's like her quiver. Yeah, I get dash. Um, so yeah, she's all about the arrow attacks and whatnot. It's super cool. Um, Laroon Gloves, Aether Spindle, uh, Plunder Run, and Salvage Shots, Common Rare. Nothing too, nothing spicy, uh, at all. The first box I opened, uh, also did not have a lot spicy, um, from this, so I was hoping maybe I get lucky, but we got, we got, we got a ways to go here. We're not even halfway through the box. More azaleas. The other thing I like is that there's, okay, cool. Um, so you got the azalea ace in the hole. This is like the normal, uh, constructed, so you get 40 card deck. Um, and then they have a young version for a blitz format of this game where it's it's half the life. And the game's just, you know, it's arguably, you know, very, very different as far as kind of what your strategies are since you're dealing with less life. But I love that that's a mechanic. Um, I love that that's a style. Um, I like those kind of interesting, unique styles uh, like that uh, where you really have to think about a completely different strategy. Uh, I also play Final Fantasy. That's another one where they've got uh, the title format is one that is just a nut strategy because it really changes a lot of the elements of the game and it just makes it so much more fun to build. Spellblade Assault, regular rare. Stir the Aether Winds. Art of War, Majestic Foil. I hear this bad boy is is pretty hot sauce as well. Um, this is a this is a hell of a pull right here. Um, I've seen this bad boy go for three digits. I haven't. I don't know if I've seen it go for three digits in Unlimited. But uh, I do know it's a very hot commodity. Pretty much like with any game, if you've played any card game, the any time you have like a choose two of or choose one or any of those, you've uh, you're in pretty good shape. You're doing pretty well. So we're gonna put that. It's still in the comp. We're still gonna hang over there. Um, let's get those rares down as well. That's a good pull. That's one I'm happy about for sure. Okay. Oh my gosh. Come here. Get the rune chance out of the way. This is for the rune blade. So in this set, uh, each set kind of focused on four heroes. This one has the mechanologist I mentioned, the ranger I mentioned, uh, the rune blade, uh, and then the uh, the wizard who's Kano. So these cards are kind of focused on those four. Mage master boots. Pedal to the metal is our first rare. Pour the mold for the second. Rune flash, common foil. Uh, again, just look at that. It's just so cool as far as it's foiling. Um, even the commons are just true works of art. I really appreciate that. Um, so for those of you who are curious about the game, um, from a playability standpoint, uh, there are three sets out right now. The first one is Welcome to Wraith. This one is the second set, Arcane Rising. They have unleashed, I get a bobble, bobble. Um, They've uh, created a uh, Crucible of War right now is the third set, but it's kind of a, it's, it's a supplemental set uh, right now. Grab a swig. Mm. I dig that beer. It is it is definitely salty. Um, so yeah, Crucible of War, kind of a supplemental set. It's just in first edition right now. Those cards are also skyrocketing, um, skyrocketing in price. We don't even know if they're going to do an unlimited. Uh, take cover for the first. Life for a Life, also super cool art. Love this one in a foil. Um, and then Amplify the Arknights, common foil. We move on. Ba-doom, ba-doom. All right, so now I think, nope, this will be this is the end of the first half. End of the first half, everyone. Oh my gosh. And I apologize. I know these videos tend to be about 20 minutes long. This is probably going to go a little bit over. Um, I'm still practicing. 
This is only the second box opening I've ever done. Um, Nolan Robe, Aether Spindle again. I don't mind having multiples of these as a heads up, like even the, even the play sets. So the thing about this game is you can see at the top, if you've been paying attention, I have different colors up at the top. So they kind of balance, every card in this game can be pitched for a resource that's used to pay the cost of the card. Um, however, you'll notice that these red ones all have one and these blue all have three. Uh, so blue has three. Uh, blue has three. Yellow is two. The trade-off with these is that you'll get more down here. So in this case, it's three, and then the next attack gains one. Chances are, if the red version of this is, it gains three. So you, you have a good trade-off in the resources versus the effects of the card. Again, I love that from a strategy perspective. From a, a card-building perspective, it adds a heck of a lot of... Uh, heck of a lot of flexibility and a heck of a lot of strategy to it. Spark of Genius. Um, great card from Econologists. Super rare. It's my second one of those. And then Throttle for the old common rare. Um, Badoom. Badoom. Triangle opens are failing me. Another bobble. For sealed, literally just for sealed. Like the, the even the box specifically says, "Where are you?" Um, <laughs> even the box is letting you know. Twenty-four booster packs, one eight-man draft pod, one four sealed deck players. Like they really thought about this game and as far as multiple formats. Um, another thing I love that like this this company and this game has made have, they've made so many smart moves uh, that I'm super excited to see its success. Uh, cognition nodes, super cool. Ren the Ledger Majestic. Uh, it's my second one of these uh, that I've I've opened. More Ranger, Ranger uh, shenanigans, uh, and Mage Master boots. Lots of foil equipment, um, which I can't I can't complain about. Very cool. All right, badoom. Um, like seeing that Ren the Ledger as well. That one, that I'm a fan of. Um, if you're looking at boxes, they do a little, uh, little print tracking as well. Um, so usually a box of Arcane or Welcome to Wraith will have four super rares, two Majestics. Uh, I don't know outside of that. Um, as I kind of mentioned, the Legendary is like one every ten boxes. Um, Plunder Run. Absorb an Aether. Moonwish Foil. I've wanted to get this foil because it's just super pretty. Big fan of that. Still common, but that's one I'm happy to have just to look at for a little bit. Then there were 10. 10 packs to go. And not that I have a, uh, I don't have a formula for this, but it's the, uh, the 10th inning, 14th inning chug, I guess. I'm not chugging a whole beer. I can't do that. I'm not good at that. Like, I probably could, I just don't really like to, because that means I'm drinking a beer that's just not really worth tasting, and I actually like the taste of beer. I'm kind of one of those weirdos, because um, I'm all about craft, man. I, I love my craft beers. So, yeah, if you're if you're watching, if you're following, if you got like a if you've got a favorite you love to just drink, or if you got a brewery you love to uh, you, you love to uh, drink at and play games. Um, if I ever get a chance to travel, I love just asking people, hey, where do we go? Where should I drink? Welcome to uh, Reduced to Rune Chance. Oath of the Ark Knights. Definitely have a Rune Blade box, it looks like. Uh, and reduced to Rune Chance. All right. <laughs> Fine. I, that's cool. I'll take it. Ain't going to complain. Um, reduced to Rune Chant. And those. No. Uh, Yushu actually has, used to have a game night called Decks and Drafts. So that's where, they, uh, that's where the channel name came from. Um, we would go to Epic. Epic Brewery down in Denver. Started in, I want to say, Nebraska, I think. Um, good group. Good, good beer. Push the point. I like this card. Um, Robe of Rapture. More enchanting melodies. Sonic Boom Majestic. Uh, yeah, more. No, that's Wizard. Yeah, it's a Wizard. That's a Wizard card. Wizard action, I should say. Super cool looking. And for our foil, Force Sight. Common foil. Boom. Cool. Another good one. So again, uh, so those are probably my two Majestics. That's the Red and the Ledger. And the um, one I just got, his name already escapes me. What the hell are you? Sonic Boom, right. Um, I think I've only seen like two super rares, so we probably got two more of those to go. Um, would be super cool to see like the legendary, basically just covers the cost of this box. 
Um, but those are super hard to find. Lead the charge. Bigger sun kiss. Cup of fights. Best the first fist. Okay. Plunder run. Pedal to the metal. Locked and loaded. More common foils for the mechanologist. Seven to go. Lucky seven. Drinking seven. Again, that's not part of the formula. That's just me. Just want to drink a beer. Um, all right. Nebula Blade. Again, I uh, also things like I, I again I like you get the you get the kind of the bare minimum to be able to build a deck, just kind of start a deck. So you get every uh, hero. Every hero has their uh, weapon, um, and these are tokens. They're just, they're throw-in cards. You don't have to go find them in packs. So I just, I dig that. It is not very easy to get, or it's not very difficult to get started in this game uh, unless you want to start with a first edition deck. And at that point, um, well, more power to ya. Uh, Aether Spindle. Aether Sink. Super cool looking card. Better look awesome in a foil. Uh, and then our foil. Blood Spill Invocation. Common foil, but cool looking. Always like that stuff. All right. Zap. All right. Boom. Six to go. Down to the wire. Don't know if we're going to have any spice. So the Art of War is kind of spice. That really is spice. That is a very sought after card uh, in this uh, in this set. So I'm happy that I pulled one, and I might just I might see what it's going for, and then just flip that bad boy. Um, plunder run, take cover, sun kiss. This is a card that looks a heck of a lot better, I think, as a foil, because it's just an orange blob of nothing. But yeah, as a uh, as a foil, it's uh, there's got a little more life to it. Dig that. switch up finally getting that blueberry wheat i couldn't tell you if i've had the equivalent of one the goal is like have a beer during one of these unless i do like you know stream in like mtg arena or whatnot um and then lord only knows how many i'll end up drinking but Achilles accelerator first rare spellblade of soul i think the first one's like always just a regular rare and then the second one is the one that has like the chance to be majestic legendary uh endless arrow super uh, I want this for a ranger deck I want to build. Um, big fan of that. And our foil salvage shots. More ranger, ranger coolness there. All right, so that's those. Four to go. I don't mind if we don't get anything big. I also like having the cards to have. Um, They've got the decks out for kind of starters. I didn't quite have what I needed out of one box to do that for their starter decks. I'm not quite equipped enough just yet to uh, to go and make my own decks. I'd like to get a couple of these under my belt before I know what's good, what's bad, what I struggle with. So uh, it'll be nice to have the uh, the cards to be able to build those. Uh, pour the mold. Absorb an ether. Plunder run. Rare foil. Again, super cool with the foiling. I said it would be awesome to get an eye... The eye would be cool. Eyes are those fabled rares. Um, not for any, like I don't actually understand, and maybe maybe this is something for the comments of the the like the play value of those eyes. Like it's cool. They're usually you pitch for a heck of a lot and you get an effect out of it, um, which is neat. I can do that with any of these though. Um, so it doesn't feel like it's such a big gain. It's just so rare that it's really freaking expensive. Reduced to rune chance, enchanting melody, and ooh, 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 hello. Induction chamber, induction chamber foily. I think even that's like 30, 40 bucks. Oh, come on, focus, there we go. Um, if anything, it's great for, this is practically a staple in a mechanologist deck. Um, happy to pull that guy. That's that's a, that's a good one right there. Um, Again, I don't necessarily know its uh, its monetary value, especially in unlimited. But uh, I'm not going to complain for having it because if it just if you can't buy it for if it's if it sucks for value, then well, shoot, I'll just play the damn card. Take that. All 
All right, two to go. Boom. All right, silver the tip. Pedal to the metal. Searing shots, common foil. All right, last pack. Last pack magic. Last pack swig. Again, I still have plenty of beer in there. <laughs> so, uh, that's what I get for opening two, like an idiot. Anyway, boom. All right, that's the uh, that's the ranger weapon. All right, last pack. Let's see how we do. Um, Bullseye Bracers. Arena's Prayer. Life for a life and our foil throttle. No last pack magic. But, you know, I'm not complaining about the induction chamber. That's pretty cool. Um, Lord knows I'm also not complaining about where are you, big boy. It's in here somewhere. I think the... There you are. That Art of War is pretty solid. That is a uh, that is a good pull. Um, I have no clue what that value is, though. Uh, but, hey, I can look it up afterwards, and I'll probably put it in the corner. Um, there we go. Uh, so, yeah. That's uh, that's what I got for you. Anyway, um, I Oof. this this episode not sponsored by two freaking beers because I'm a big dumb idiot. But anyway, that's what I got for you. Thank you so much for joining me, and um, yeah, I'll catch you next time. We'll uh, we'll do some stuff. Let me know what you think. By the way, please subscribe and um, just yeah, if you want to see more box openings, if you want to see uh, see me play some games, just play some games with me. Just just let me know. Right? Cool. All right. Peace, y'all.